You should follow Cinematic on Twitter because all of his tweets rhyme. Trust me, gentlemen, I'm a professional. Yo, what is good? This is your cult leader, Cinematic, and I am here to help you with the zombie apocalypse because it's been over the news. It's been everywhere. People are fearing for their lives. The zombies are coming. The zombies are coming. Lock your doors. Board up your windows. Pull out your carpenter. Because the zombies are here. And they are here to eat your brains. Just remember these small facts. Zombies do not like bright lights. So torches will come in very handy. Also, I want you to remember, headshots only. You shoot zombies in the body and they will still keep coming for you. For some reason, these brain dead bastards only die when you shoot their brains out. Maybe it's because they feed off of your brains. Always remember to pack a punch your weapons because the zombies get very powerful after they eat a few brains. What I want you guys to do in these last final hours while you're sipping on the Kool-Aid that I have provided is to get out all your George A. Romero movies. Get out the black and white version of Night of the Living Dead. It will help you survive, people. Oh God, I am broadcasting this right now and I can hear the faint sounds of zombies outside of my house, but I have stocked up the ramen noodles and the Diet Mountain Dew and I have boarded up all the windows. I will survive. I want you guys to survive with me. Because not only are the zombies coming, but Planet X is about to collide with the Earth any second now. Aliens are coming in from everywhere. Jesus is sitting looking down on us right now, telling Satan to have fun with us. We're all doomed. It's the end of the world, the apocalypse. I hope you guys aren't too scared right now. I'm pretty fucking scared. I am hiding under my cover. I might board up the basement. It's gonna be like blast from the past. Ramen noodles, diet Mountain Dew, and crunch and munch forever. I bought a whole truckload of gummy worms yesterday. But I have faith, people. I have faith that we can survive the zombie apocalypse. If you see your brother or sister walking really slowly, don't hesitate. Shoot them in the face with the ray gun. You have to do it, people. Your loved ones are no longer your loved ones when you see them walking very slowly and going, Ooh, brains. Shoot them in the head. It's the only way to survive. You gotta watch Zombieland. Woody Harrelson will show you the way. I can't believe that round 24 in Zombies, I have failed you. But in real life, I will be like Bruce Campbell from Evil Dead an army of darkness and I would lead you through the dark ages I don't even know what to say right now because the zombies have got me thinking all crazy all I can think about is Molotov cocktails flaming torches sawed off shotguns attached to my arm But yo, what's good? Alright, I'm tired of playing with you guys. Anyways, my boys 
got me to round 24, and then King Nappy was clutching it at the end. And I've been playing some zombies with King Nappy and Drake Star. Uh, hopefully, I don't forget uh, Big Country. And another cat, I can't remember his name, but I will try to remember in a little bit. I think this one we're playing with uh, those people, though. And um, they've taught me a few things. And I still suck at zombies, but I am getting better. I'm learning every day. I went from 19 to 23 to 24. And we probably can get to about 30 or more. <clears throat> but we was... We was playing this shit, and it was like 4 in the morning, and we was like, you know what? We could make it to 30, but it would be like 6 or 7 in the morning. So let's get a little crazier and, like, move around. And I went to the lighthouse, which was a, a, a real dumb move for me at that high of a level because I'd never been running the lighthouse, really. So the goal is, here soon, I will probably get up in the lighthouse in, like, the earlier teen levels and get my feet wet. And learn, you know, how to dodge a little bit better. That's that's really that's really my biggest problem right now. I don't know how to run and back up and turn around and run and all that kind of shit. Cause uh, they keep ending up like I turn around to shoot four or five of them, and as I'm backing up like two feet, somehow one will get behind me and then I get fucked. Or from bad map awareness, I get myself stuck against like a fucking rock or something in the middle of the map and started getting the shit smacked out of me but I do plan to bring you guys some more zombies hopefully you guys enjoy the zombies um it takes a long ass time like these games are originally like I think this game was like 2 hours and 15 minutes when you count in all the times that we have to get a crawler so we can go pack a punch weapons and things of that nature look he's pack a punching a weapon while he's clutching it right here <clears throat> but hopefully you guys like my uh, Twitter intro and uh, shout out to Miss Reekin who also does stuff like NASA One's backgrounds and things like that. I'm going to link her in the description. My boy Ricky Chaps came through with a quick, uh, you know, audio clip for me. And um, at the end of my videos, I don't know if you guys have noticed, some people even asked me what that was. Basically, what I'm doing at the end of my videos is uh, I have some commercials of videos that I like. And basically, when those commercials come on, you can click the link or click the picture of the video you want to see out of the two. And um, it will take you right to that video. And I'm going to try to keep content, commercial content in there that I feel is stuff that I love, like Everything that I've seen from Ricky has been hilarious. Uh, Kimmy, Kimmy has really surprised me lately because I thought that, you know, the shit talk, big commentator shit talk was going to be like his claim to fame. But honestly, the guy keeps surprising me with new shit that's completely different. And I love it. Uh, and that's something I wanted to ask you guys because you're my viewers. On the commercials, uh... I mean, because they're at the end of the video, so you don't have to watch them if you don't want to. But how would you guys feel if I put, like, four commercials? Like, two that run, and then two more that run right after it at the very end. That way, if you do want to see, you know, something else that I feel is good, then you have the opportunity to see four different videos that I recommend. Um... I am going to keep doing the two because I feel like if you don't really care about other people's videos, uh, some people will and it'll be there and it's at the end of the video. Um, what else was I going to talk about? I, I put it in my last video. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but like, <clears throat> reading the description, I read the description of almost every video that I watch because usually it'll be links to like people that made backgrounds or... Uh, helped out on the project or if somebody donated gameplay that way you know if I post up like an 89 and 1 and it's not my gameplay and I say hey guys I'm you know 
talking to you guys over so and so's gameplay. You don't have to search for that guy. You can just look right in the description and it'll be there. Uh, I'm gonna also start linking uh, some iTunes links to all my songs in some of the future videos. Probably not this one, but in future videos, it'll just it'll be down further in the description. So you know, if you don't care, if you've already seen it, it's not gonna be like the first thing you see. But I was watching a Fisticuffs video earlier, and uh, he was talking about it. And you know, I've been dwelling on this for a minute. And, and and you know, asking for likes and favorites has become bad because some people have made it seem bad. But it's really not a bad thing. If you love my videos, and uh. You want to see me succeed and keep, you know, bringing out good content. Basically, like, I could post so many videos on Respawn and probably get more views. But right now, I'm trying to focus on you guys more. Because I feel like, in the end, it's the guys that keep coming to my page and watching my videos that matter the most. I do plan to put some more videos on Respawn, but you know what I'm saying. I want the ratio to be, like, three or four videos on my page to every one video I post on Respawn. Um, I feel like that's the right way to do it. And the way you guys can help me out is, I mean, of course, you know, the more people that watch my videos, the more money I make. I don't make a lot of money right now. I'm not an ex jaws I'm not a white boy. I'm not none of that. I'm not making the front page. Um, and I don't really care about that. I, I just want to keep you guys entertained. But think of it like this. If you guys uh, favorite my videos and like my videos, then what happens is all of your subscribers get the opportunity to maybe when they go to your page, see that you favored and liked my video, and it, and it helps me out a lot. Um, I don't think I'll be getting the front page anytime soon, but, you know, I'm also thinking about this too, and I don't know if I can get you guys to help me with this. I am going to start linking a lot of my videos to the Respawn app, and then putting the link in the description to where you can click on it, and it takes you straight to that video, so you guys can bump it, because that's another way for me to get some more exposure. Um, if I get the front page, it helps out a lot. So let me know what you guys think about all that stuff. Hopefully, you know, you guys are going to be safe from this zombie apocalypse. And, um, I hope that tomorrow we can watch some more videos and play some more games. And everything will be all hunky-dory. But, if this is the end, I just want to say that I really love you guys. And uh, it was good knowing you if the zombie apocalypse is really here. So without further ado, I will holler at you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow. And uh, let me know something. Peace. And get him 100 pounds and we can uh, cook it and eat that one. Okay. Okay. Sound good to me. So uh, uh, I'm sorry. And you can cook him? Yeah, yeah. Cook the dog? Yeah, yeah. First off, we're going to try and get onto the ottoman from the fireplace. And to do that, you have to jump up on this brick ledge here and, like a cat, spring forward onto the ottoman. Make sure to tuck your head low to avoid busting your face with a ceiling fan overhead. This is a good spot to get into in case you're trying to have lunch while watching television.